Hello viewers, thank you for joining us today. See, the story I'm about to tell you now about Hosea and his wife is something that our modern men will rather negotiate with God than obeying God's instruction in a situation like that. The Bible told us in the book of Hosea chapter 1 that God instructed Hosea to marry a promiscuous woman and that her children too would be promiscuous just like the wife to show how unfaithful we are to God. There are great lessons we can extract from this chapter. One is Hosea's obedience to God. Imagine Hosea following God's instruction without opposing the arranged marriage, knowing fully well that the woman God instructed him to marry is an unfaithful woman. He's a well-known harlot. In fact, harlotry is her business. If God could arrange Hosea's marriage to an unfaithful wife, even commanded him to love this woman regardless, that means that God is not just for the perfect. Our relationship with God is a symbol of Hosea's marriage to Goma. We are choosing and love, but that doesn't stop us from being unfaithful to God. You see, when you have things that occupy the place of God in your life, that means you are, you are an unfaithful bride. You are unfaithful, an unfaithful child. The same way Hosea felt when his wife, we are doing all that halotry. Is also the same way God feels whenever we deviate from him. That is why the Bible calls him a jealous God. You see, God can use the most unclean thing in the sight of men to sim symbolize or to address a situation. Now, here is the question. Would we rather continue to be arrogant and sin or choose to follow God now that he's calling us for reconciliation? This question is for you and I. This question is for everyone. God is calling us. God is calling everyone. As we have chosen to be faithful to God instead of being arrogant, may God help us and direct our paths. Amen.